Right. You know who else couldn't knock down shots today? Who? Antonio Reeves. One for 15 from the floor. He missed his first 14 field goal attempts. I tweeted out a picture of John Starks and said that uh, Antonio Reeves and John Starks had the same kind of performance uh, in the postseason. It is mean. It's a little rough. Um, that's <laughs> the end of Kentucky season. And Tyler, I'm going to go to you first on this one. Uh, how do you how do you view like now that we're looking into recap of this? Now that we're talking about what Kentucky did in the past tense, how do you view their season? How do you view the 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 job that John Calipari did getting Kentucky to the point that they were at? It's for Kentucky. It's never a good year if they just win one game in the tournament. I mean this this I mean this this program came in to the tournament without a NCAA tournament win in fourteen hundred and forty seven days. I mean, and they broke the streak in some ways, uh, but they never lived up to the hype. And I understand that they have a uh, good recruiting class coming in uh, next year, but they won one game and went home. And, uh, you know, I've been saying it all years. They don't have the shooting it takes to advance into the uh, – to make a deep ter- deep tournament run. And a lot of people came at me, but – They've been in and out of lineups. They could never really get it clicking. They got it going for a little bit, but they just had, you know, such a rough season. There was always something going wrong, and uh, they could never quite figure it out. If I had to sum it up, it was a disappointing year for Kentucky. You know what, too? I think the expectation of Kentucky is such a huge thing. And, guys, let's be honest. I mean, this this didn't hit the mark. They, they had a – talented bunch of guys but I think the biggest thing is they had a bunch of really good college players they didn't have a bunch of pros like Calipari has had in the past when he's gotten to final fours and national championships they're good college players not great pros and Tyler you know this I mean there's a difference there's a difference in body size there's a difference in the ability to overwhelm people there's a difference in speed there's a difference in attitude I, I don't think that they had what Calipari's had in the past I think that's the reason for some of the inconsistency uh, when I say inconsistency, I mean strictly from a win-loss perspective because, it, you know, their numbers suggest that they were okay. But whenever it came, you know, push came to shove, Tyler's right. I mean, y- your biggest score goes 1-15 to 15 in your most important game of the year. It's hard. So I, I think it's a disappointment. Uh, I, I, what I did find interesting is they fired Tubby after losing in the second round, what, two years in a row? Mm-hmm. And they haven't won, won a game prior to this tournament since 19 and then – you know, they they lose after one game in this tournament with guys, let's be honest, whoever they chose in the transfer portal. And some of these other guys were starting to play better too. I think that's that it's concerning. I know he has a lifetime deal, but it's still concerning. So uh, I know they have a good recruiting class. It's it's not – I'm telling you, it's not a John Wall recruiting class. No, it, it is a very good one. It's not this John Wall, whoever the hell else was it, Eric Bledsoe. It's not that recruiting class. It's a good one, but it's not that. So I, I think there's going to be some frustration. Yeah, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of with both of you guys. I do think that um, Cal deserves some credit for finding a way to make it work with this group. And honestly, I think we probably overrated them a little bit coming into this season. In hindsight, like the guys that they had just weren't necessarily as good as we thought they were going to be. And, and I did not realize how big of a problem it was going to be having Oscar Sheway guard ball screens because that became something that was – exploitable for uh for everybody um, that they played this season look today's episode is brought to you by underdog fantasy the easiest place to play college basketball pick them where you can get a little extra sweat during march madness and win real cash prizes simply by picking player stats in this weekend's games and pick them all you do is predict whether a player will go higher or lower on underdogs projected totals whether that's points rebounds whatever for example if you're like me and you think zach Eady is going to go nuts in this tournament pick higher on his points projection add up to four more picks and if you hit them all you can win 20 times your money on a single game underdog slick mobile app is easy enough that dummies like jeff goodman have even figured it out so go to underdogfantasy.com or download the app and use the code Field F I E L D and underdog will match your deposit up to a hundred bucks. Now is the time to get in on the madness. So remember, underdogfantasy.com promo code field. 